Hi everybody. Today we're going to learn how to input timesheets in Xero, both as an employee and an employer. So if you're an employer and you want to view your staff's timesheets, you'd come up here to payroll and click on timesheets. So here you can see all your staff's name, the week it was ending and the status. So these ones have all been processed and paid. These ones have been approved, but maybe not yet paid. And this is a draft. Now, if you are the business owner, um, you would more than likely have the administrator permissions in Xero, which means you can approve timesheets on behalf of your staff. Now, it also means you can actually add a timesheet on behalf of somebody else if you needed to. So I might say Tracy needs me to add some hours on the week ending the 17th of June. Click save. I would add in the hours that she's worked and then I would either save it as, an, as a draft or approve it. Now, if you're an employee, you would get sent a link to your Zero Me account. You would then log in and it will take you to the overview page. You'd want to click over here to timesheets, add timesheet and select the period ending and click continue. Now you can put your hours in as you go throughout the week, which is something we encourage. So you don't forget, or if you'd prefer, you can add them at the end of the week and then hit submit. But we typically add them in at the end of every day, just keep saving it as a draft. And at the very end of the week, you'd hit submit and that would send it to your employer for approval. So that's it. That's how you enter timesheets as an employer and an employee. Hopefully this video was helpful.